I'm listening to Thomas Hobbes Leviathan and he says that the actions of man proceed from his opinions and if you want to govern people's actions you have to govern their opinions and uh, I'm not so sure about how true that is all right maybe in a time when people took their opinions more seriously all right so in pre-modern times when people thought that their opinions were you know, objective statements of truth and people were willing to you know kill over the doctrine of the trinity okay maybe circumstances like that if you want to govern man's actions the sovereign has to govern his opinions so Thomas Hobbes held that the state of nature is cruel the man's life in it is short nasty and brutish and so therefore man needs to throw in his lot with a, with a totalitarian government and give it the power to regulate speech and even conscience and Spinoza came along and said, yeah, I need to regulate man's thinking. I don't need to regulate man's opinions. And Carl Schmitt said that the downfall of Western civilization was because of Spinoza opening up space for any opinions whatsoever. So Schmitt would argue that the more united the nation the stronger it is and all things being equal that's true but sometimes having a diversity of opinions can release you know all sorts of uh, innovations that you don't have with the uniformity of opinions so this is where Carl Schmitt thought Western civilization took a wrong turn Okay, with the thinking of Spinoza that uh, the sovereign should not try to regulate man's opinions and it just seems horrifying in the 21st century to want to regulate man's opinions right, why should the government regulate your religious opinions but it's kind of what uh, Godward podcast is on about once Sounds like he'd be quite fond of a little more unity in religious opinion. So I think the major difference between the modern and the pre-modern and the post-modern worlds is how seriously we take our own opinions, particularly on matters of faith. Right, people don't tend to take religion so seriously anymore, they don't kill over it, usually. And so therefore uh, opinions that you're not going to kill and die for are not nearly as threatening to the social welfare and the, the health of the nation as opinions that you are willing to kill and die for and I want to get up there top of the Santa Monica mountains have the fog roll through me pierce me wash me clean remove all my unrighteousness break, bend, blow me so that I may be born anew